If you're considering getting an orthobiologic injection, PRP or stem cell therapy, this is extremely crucial and you need to watch, especially to the end. So there is a big boom lately in orthobiologics, platelet-rich plasma, platelet lysate, A2M, bone marrow and adipose stem cell therapy, and all of this is fantastic. But what you have to remember is that not all treatments are going to be the same. Not all providers are going to be the same. Now that we have good data and good literature, especially in things like knee osteoarthritis, it is very clear that specific protocols and specific dosing are required in order to have a high chance of seeing the positive results that we can see. And so what sometimes happens is, let's say one of you is watching my videos and you hear that uh, platelet-rich plasma can be beneficial for knee osteoarthritis. So you go and you research online, someone local who does platelet-rich plasma, and you just go see them and you don't see a response. Now, if that provider did not utilize the protocol that has been shown in the literature to actually have a very high chance of improving knee osteoarthritis, then that in there is the reason that the treatment might not have worked. And so it is extremely crucial that you are doing your research to make sure that people are utilizing proper protocols, proper dosing, which I understand is very difficult and just you have to research, you have to ask questions, you have to ask about the research and things like that. And so as an example for the knee osteoarthritis, the research shows that a minimum of five billion platelets needs to be delivered inside the knee joint in order for that to have a high chance of success at helping with knee osteoarthritis. A lot of the top tier clinics, we are actually aiming closer towards 10 billion based on another level one study that showed that 10 billion platelets provided a very good outcome. And so if someone is not tracking their PRP data, if they don't know how much PRP and how many platelets they're putting inside that joint, then you might only get 2 billion platelets inside your knee joint and that is not going to be sufficient. So please remember when you are doing your research that not all PRP clinics, not all providers are the same and you want to make sure that the clinic you're working with is up to date on the current literature so that way you are getting the proper protocols.